The KV-1 tank was one of the Red Army's most formidable armored vehicles during the early years of World War II. Known for its thick, almost impenetrable armor and heavy firepower, it posed a significant challenge to German forces during their initial invasions. However, despite its strengths, the KV-1 had several notable weaknesses that often led to its downfall and abandonment on the battlefield. One major issue with the KV-1 was its weight. The heavily armored design resulted in a tank that was difficult to maneuver, especially on soft or uneven terrain. This limited mobility often left KV-1 vulnerable to being outflanked or becoming bogged down in mud, which exposed their sides and rear areas with thinner armor to enemy attacks. Additionally, its engine, while robust, struggled with the heavy load, leading to frequent breakdowns and maintenance issues. The tank's visibility was another significant drawback. The limited view from the commander's position made it challenging to identify targets and react quickly in combat situations, particularly in urban environments. The KV-1 early models also had an underpowered 76 and 2mm gun that, while effective against most early German tanks, began to struggle as enemy armor improved. Reliability was a recurring problem. The KV-1 complex mechanical systems and drivetrain often required extensive repairs, leading to situations where tanks were abandoned due to mechanical failures rather than enemy action. Despite its reputation as a steel giant, the KV-1 was not immune to well-coordinated anti-tank tactics that exploited its sluggishness and mechanical vulnerabilities. The wrecks of KV-1 tanks, now rusting remnants on former battlefields, are a poignant reminder of these limitations. They showcase that even a tank with significant defensive and offensive capabilities could fall victim to its design flaws and the rapidly evolving battlefield conditions of World War II. If you want more, let me know in the comments, subscribe, and leave a like. Thank you.